Hi, my name is Nicole Zenny. I'm a senior manager of new food development within supply chain at McDonald's Restaurants of Canada. And I'm here to answer a question that's been posed by Sherry. You asked the question, is the thing about the chicken McNuggets true? They are made from a processed pink sludge of meat and bones ground up with chemicals. We're going to take off now, go visit some restaurants. We're going to pick up some cooked McNuggets. We're also going to get some frozen raw McNuggets because we're going to take it to a lab for analysis. Um, I read something online one day and it had to do with, it said something like uh, the McNuggets are made from a, a processed um, chicken product, I guess, that's actually pink. and it, and it's turned white and formed into the McNugget shapes. And I just kind of thought, hmm, that's not exactly what I thought I was eating. We're at a restaurant. We're going to buy some uh, cooked nuggets. Hi there. Hi. I need a dozen Hi. 10 packs of McNuggets. The manager knows that you're going to ask if you can go back into the freezer. We need to grab some frozen McNuggets from the back. OK. So can you take me there? Yes, no problem. Come on in. Great. So we're at our second restaurant, and we're going to go and get more nuggets. I need a dozen 10 packs of chicken McNuggets. They're not all for me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm here for some frozen McNuggets. Yep. Great. Okay. And five. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. No we are at Maxim Laboratories. They're going to be doing a test on our uh, copious amounts of McNuggets that we brought here. Hi. Hi, I'm I Sue Big. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Sherry. Nice to meet you. Are you a part of McDonald's? Do you work with McDonald's? Uh, we're not a part of McDonald's at all. We're completely privately owned. Um, we're an independent lab. So would you say like hundreds of companies you work with? Thousands of companies wow. that we work with. The analysis that we've chosen to do for you is that we're going to be doing some metals, some bone particle, and then we're doing some microscopy. So the metals that we're going to be looking at are iron. If there's a dark meat in the sample, we would expect to see a higher level of iron. Obviously, white meat doesn't have much iron in it. We're also going to be looking for calcium. H higher levels of calcium would be in bones and titanium. titanium Titanium monoxide it makes um, things look more white. So the other test that we do here is bone particles. Basically what they do is they take the sample and then they're washing it through a series of sieves. So whatever gets collected on the bottom, then they're going to be able to look at it and say, okay, there's a little bone particle. Right. This is actually yeah. the part that I'm really interested in because one of the things I thought about chicken nuggets is, you know, do they just throw a whole chicken in a, in a blender and make a McNugget? So yeah. I'm interested to see we'll the results We'll definitely be able to see any bone particles if that was the case. Okay. So what we're really looking for is whether or not those chicken nuggets have things added into them okay we picked up mcnuggets brought them here to the lab they're going to be tested and we'll be back in a few weeks to find out the results hey, hey. sherry how are you good to see you again nice to see so you. come on in we'll okay. go over the results Thanks. after all the tests we've done here we were able to say that the results of the chicken nuggets are consistent with the results of of breast chicken breast meat so white meat so is white what chicken you found. breast so let me just explain a little okay. bit first test which is actually really quite telling is the iron test iron test um, you'd expect to see in dark meat anything that has a lot of blood in it would have iron in it and the iron was quite low okay. and it was consistent with the results that we found with the chicken breast meat okay the titanium dioxide the titanium dioxide was not detected and that was like the whitening so that means they didn't add anything that would make it look more white okay right um, calcium we did find a bit um, higher level of calcium calcium in the nugget. Um, then we went on to further test the breading, and the breading did contain high levels of calcium, so that would explain uh, why we found the higher level in the, in the nugget. So we're not concerned, and, and we do think that's consistent okay. uh, with, with how they're, make, how they're made. Um, then you asked about the bone particle test. Yes, the whole chicken in a blender thing yes, that I was exactly. kind of wondering about. So the bone particle test was nothing detected. Okay. So you don't need to worry about that. So that's good. Microscopy, same thing. Everything that they saw in the microscopy on the McNuggets, you would expect to see in the breast meat of the uh, of the chicken. You can say that there's really no evidence at all that they've ground up a chicken, bones and everything, and put it into the chicken nugget. That makes me feel good. Yeah. That's, that's what I was hoping to hear because that's, you know, that's what I eat when I go to McDonald's. I like to eat chicken McNuggets, so yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Good. Good. Glad Great. we could help. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.